Look around you. There are roughly 150 people in the room today. Three of you are likely to suffer from gout at some point in your life. Gout is a painful and debilitating disease. One sufferer, the artist James Gilry, pictured his illness as the attack of a demon-like creature which claws and bites into his foot. The pain that he illustrates is caused by uric acid crystals which form in his tendons and joints due to a high concentration of uric acid in his blood. We all have uric acid in our blood. It enters our bodies through the food that we consume. Whether or not we develop gout depends on genetic factors as well as our diet. Gout sufferers can manage their condition through a healthy diet and medication. But to anticipate and prevent a painful attack, it is vital that they can monitor their uric acid levels regularly, ideally by testing themselves in the comfort of their home. There are no such tests available at the moment, as uric acid levels are being measured in blood or urine by trained medical personnel. In my research, I'm developing a biosensor that uses saliva to detect blood uric acid concentrations. Patients could easily do this at home by extracting some of their saliva on a test strip and inserting it into the sensor. To detect uric acid, we make use of the enzyme uricase. Uricase breaks down uric acid into electrical charge carriers, which we can detect as an electrical current by sticking two electrodes into the saliva. The current that we measure increases proportionally with the concentration of uric acid in the saliva, but for high concentrations, this increase is flattening off. This is due to our charge carriers slowing down. If we want our biosensor to work, we need to speed up those charge carriers. How can we do this? With a clever electrode design. Our electrodes consist of nanoelectrode arrays. Nanoelectrodes are tiny electrodes, one millionth of a millimeter wide, and we place nearly 2,000 of them on a 5 by 5 millimeter square. Nanoelectrodes are extremely sensitive. They can detect tiny currents, like those produced when measuring uric acid in saliva, and charge carriers can travel very fast to and from them, allowing us to measure the full range of physiological uric acid concentrations. We believe that with our sensor, gout sufferers can soon manage their condition with more ease. Thank you.